Conservation Cooperatives. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 300. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 300, December 23rd, 2018, holiday edition. So I'm wearing my favorite I Love You shirt. I love you. Thanks for watching. Uh, One Community's mission, if you're not familiar with it, is to bring together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet and to build self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And today what I'd like to talk about is conservation cooperatives. One community is meant to be a conservation cooperative. We are open sourcing and free sharing all aspects of everything it is that we're doing, covering all aspects of sustainability as a pathway to global sustainability and to build the foundation of conservation cooperatives working together around the world to create a sustainable civilization that will benefit everybody. And so we are open sourcing and free sharing everything necessary to replicate all that we're doing and covering all the foundations of a sustainable civilization, which are the physical foundations of sustainability, food, energy, and housing, which everybody is familiar with. And we're combining those with the emotional foundations of sustainability to create an evolution of sustainability that includes fulfilled living practices, high good economic models, high good education models, and true earth stewardship. And we're putting all these things together to build teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs. And we know that if we can make them easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as, as attractive enough, then the idea will spread its own, that they will become self-replicating. And so this is our path to a global cooperative of conservation cooperatives, or global collaborative, rather, of conservation cooperatives working together for the highest good of all life on this planet. And so everything you see happening in the background of this video is us doing that for eight years now. Our all-volunteer uh, uh, nonprofit team has been working together to create these teacher demonstration, community, village, city, and hub designs and models and open sourcing and free sharing the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living. Living for the highest good of all people and all life on this planet, working in cooperation, conservation cooperatives, conserving our planet, stewarding our planet, consciously and conscientiously becoming caretakers of our world and working together to do that and creating a living model that provides more of what most people want, a better way of living than how most people are living right now, that is also a conservation cooperative. And that doesn't mean that everybody has to live that way. I mean, people can build what it is that we're doing just for themselves if they want. They don't have to be about conservation. They don't have to be even about cooperation. They could build it just to escape from society, to go live somewhere on their own and to be able to just provide uh, self-sufficiency and sustainability for themselves and their families and their friends. But what we're creating is an open source model for inviting people to come and experience it. A third of everything that one of all the houses that one community is building is for visitors to come and experience what it is that we're doing. We're designing it so that we can invite the public to participate, to come and experience an earth home or a shipping container home or a cob home or a treehouse village. So if people come experience that, if they like what they see or a large scale, you know, organic gardening setup or chickens or goats or all the different aspects of what it is that we're creating, the education model, the fulfilled living practices and social architecture so that they can all be replicated in whatever way works best for people. This is what one community is doing. This is our model for creating global change and a world that truly works for everybody within our lifetime. And if we can make it self-replicating by making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating it's attractive enough, then conservation cooperatives can create a global cooperative and collaborative, working together, open sourcing and free sharing everything that we're doing that is self-replicating. Solution models designed specifically to create additional solution creating models for the benefit of all life on this planet what better venture, what better adventure is there? Like we can create a world that works for everybody. We can simultaneously address the greatest challenges of this generation and generations to come. So how about setting that as our New Year's resolution? How about doing that as our goal? 
Well, that's what we're doing. And we're 100% volunteer, 100% unpaid. We're a nonprofit organization. I'm not paid for anything I'm doing. Neither is anybody else on our team. We're doing this because we know it's possible to create a sustainable civilization. We know it's possible to create a sustainable planet. Before we go to Mars, hey, let's fix what's going on here. You know, we have the money exists, the knowledge exists, even the willpower exists. So we're organizing that. We're bringing, we're creating a place for people to come together that love doing the right thing, that want to live and create for the highest good of all life on this planet. We're creating a place for those people to come together and to do that. A place that will provide for all of their needs while simultaneously giving them a powerful engine and platform for moving humanity towards global sustainability. And as I said, simultaneously addressing the greatest challenges of this generation, generations to come, working in cooperation and collaboration with people around the world as conservation collaboratives, cooperatives, creating a better world for everybody. So with that said, here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards that goal, conservation cooperatives. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team continued design updates to the open source Murphy Bed Furniture Assembly Instructions. The focus this week was testing the new wall design in 3D and making update suggestions. You can see some of this work in progress here. And the core team created the initial setup for the new page, sharing our research into the most sustainable toilet options. Hemant Kodra, structural engineer, completed his 28th week helping with the structural engineering research and calculations for the Earthbag Village. This week's focus was another round of new nail stress tests. You can see some of this work in progress here. And Vita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, also completed her 29th week volunteering and now helping with the Earthbag Village materials and costs. This week, she did more work on the Tropical Atrium materials quantities, prices, and buying options. She also further developed the single dome cost analysis and quantity calculations, some of which you can see here. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued working on the Earthbag Village. Here's weekly update 142 from Dean. His focus this week was beginning the process of modeling all the new designs in 3D. You can see the beginnings of this work here. And Elizabeth Kahn, environmental consultant, completed her third week researching and writing the content for the most sustainable toilet options. This week, she wrote the first draft for the tutorial sharing the results of all her past two weeks of research. You can see some of this work in progress here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued developing the Duplical City Center sprinkler in the Emergency Systems Design page. This week, we created and added new preliminary design imagery and finished the parts and calculation processes for the cost analysis sections. You can see some of this work here. Dipti Dondarkar, electrical engineer, also continued developing the lighting specifics for the city center. This is Dipti's 109th week volunteering on this task, and the focus this week was finishing updating all the layers and adding the final missing lights for the dining dome main wall, social dome, and living dome rooms. You can see some of this work here. Tanya Griffin, Aubrey Ann Boyle, and Allie Marsh, interior designers from Lotus Designs, also completed their third week helping with the Duplical City Center interior design details. This week, they started integrating and testing in 3D all the furniture, floor patterning, and color selections discussed since the last update. You can see some of this work here. Anvita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, also continued updating the Duplical City Center materials and cost details by adding the pipe cost analysis for the sprinkler and emergency systems design. You can see some of this work here. And James Harrigal, student researcher, also completed his third week researching the best, safest, and most sustainable paints, carpet, and other building materials by researching the well standard system. He identified which components are applicable to our project, identified his resources, and completed about 75% of his full review and report. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, 
part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued adding more content to the open source apiary page. We rebuilt the menus, added in two new resource and book sections, and finished the section on checking local codes. You can see some of this work here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, summaries and integration of all the best known alternative education programs, including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more, and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team continued the process of fixing our database structure and testing our corrections. What you see here are some of the screenshots of the fixes still needing to be addressed on our staging site. Emilio Najera, digital marketer, also continued with his 10th week as part of the marketing team. This week, he researched keywords for four more of our top-level food-related pages, goats, rabbits, chickens, and finishing the research for the apiary bee yard. In addition to this, the Highest Good Network software team consisting of Schuber Mittal, software delivery manager, Jordan Miller, web developer, and Tyler Calvert, full-stack software engineer, continued developing the software. This week, the team completed the ability to assign teams and projects to users, added the ability for users to manage their social links, added the ability for admins to manage users' admin links, fixed the issue of multiple submit calls being issued to the server, wrote unit test cases for the leaderboard and header components, and refactored the complete form component. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. There is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards the goal of conservation cooperatives. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. We'll add you to our newsletter list. If you'd like more details, specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog, visit our website. There's so much information on there. Check it out. If you'd like to help out, visit our helping page. There's lots of different ways to do that, uh, ranging from subscribing to our social media channels. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. Twitter, Pinterest, uh, LinkedIn, Tumblr, Reddit, Facebook, and about 15 other social media networks. So you can join us there. Uh, also, donations, uh, how to join our team. All those details are on our helping page. And uh, yeah, thank you. Thanks for watching our holiday edition. Till next week, we will, of course, keep on, keep it on. Thanks.